Yeah, right, guys. I'm going to try something I've never done before, which is um, grafting the tomatoes. <clears throat> you remember I, um, I sowed them a few weeks back? I use uh, Estamino number one um, for the rootstock, and I got a few different varieties. So I'm only going to do half of them because if it works, it works. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. And um, we give it a go. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Now, I don't know, you've got to find equal size stems. So what I'm going to do is put the clip on first, just right. I've sharpened my little craft knife with a kitchen steel. It, it is pretty sharp. <clears throat> if you can see this. I'm going to cut down at an angle of 45 degrees. I say it's pretty sharp, yes. Yeah. Get rid of that. And quickly find a matching one. This is just about right there. I'm going to take these lower leaves off. Maybe that one there. Match up the cut. And slide the clip up. I'm going to spray like mad because it needs to be um, kept humid. A bit crooked. And I'm going to stick it in a poly bag. Have bigger poly bags. Oh no. There we go. Let the... No, that was clever, didn't it? Fell off. Well, there's first failure. So, that didn't work. I think it's because the um, Miss Scion was a bit smaller diameter, so very quickly find another one that's a bit better. Cut that actually. That's even better in case it started healing. You watch people on YouTube doing this and they whiz through it. So, but then again, they are experts. The camera's getting all wet for me. My bags are pretty rubbish, really. And first one done, so a couple more to do. Be more careful this time, obviously. Getting the uh, rootstock and the sigh on the right size. Oh, I've got to do as well. Sugar. Forgot. Got to copy the number. I'll do that. Put it in the bag and do it later. Number 10, which is, like I said, Gigantamo. And this time what I'm going to do, I'm going to match up before, that's too big, uh, no that's right, that's right, it's called Gigantum for a reason, you're trying to cut this one below the leaves so that they don't uh, shoot again, this one doesn't really matter so much but 
Maybe a bigger this one. I'm tougher, but if you look at that, I've got to put the tip on, but it didn't work very well last time, did it? That's an easier way of doing it. In case you're wondering, the water's at room temperature, so it's not shocking the plant, which is coming from indoors. Leave that one open for a Cool. Well, I'll just get on and do the rest and uh, show you the results. So, after a bit of trial and error, what I figured out is label first, cut the rootstock. Have your scion prepared, so nip out the sides, don't want those big leaves because it's going to increase the transpiration which you don't want, then stick this bit in a bag, like that, and then I found it easier to marry the two up together with the clip rather than have the clip on first. Like so, give it a spray. Compost already wet, and then it's easier to get the bag up. Hey presto! Till like I say, a uh, cool dark place for a couple of days, and um, well, let's have a <laughs> never know. The rest I'm going to grow normally and do a comparison. Could be just total waste of time. Don't know. Anyway, if you like this. <laughs> Better get in now because it's raining. Back again. Right, the rest of the uh, tomatoes I'm not using for uh, grafting are going to go in the hydroponics. So I'm just going to pop them up now into the, uh, I don't know what they are, five inch pots. I don't want them to get too big, uh, the root system, because they've got to go through a hole in the hydroponics. So get on with it. And label the pots first this time. Number 10, which is Gigantimo again. Right. I got, um, what do you call it? Clover. Not too bad this one, I don't know, it's very variable. Uh, clover with perlite in it, so I want to keep it a bit light. Um, yeah. and don't forget with tomatoes, you can put them well deep. So if they're a bit leggy like that one. Oh, I broke the pot. Got a good root on it, mind. Too bad. Yeah, then go. In fact, I'm gonna get that right to the bottom. Yeah, because they'll stand. Uh, they send out hair roots, get the cotyledons off, um, off the stem. Yeah, one done. So number ten, the obligatory writing. Next. That's them all gone now. Just saw my first bumblebee. Uh, seen a bit leggy, but it'd be alright. Number eight. Let's do three eights while I'm here. Eight. 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 Which is moneymaker. Gardener's favourite moneymaker. Can't go wrong with moneymaker. Um, it's just started raining again. 
great. Just after a nice day like yesterday. There he goes, the bumblebee. Yeah, not too bad. Tudor. weaker this one. It's got the label stay. It's gonna come off I know it is. He's in upstairs in the um, Vita pod with light, light and heat. Um, getting a bit leggy up there now. So. Oh, Get that straight. And a couple to go. And we got two of these, which must be stonors. Stoners, I don't know how you say it. Water in this one is a bit dry. A bit deeper, a bit stronger. Nine. Two of that. Last one, we get almost more seeds in a bit. Did it again. Oh, here we are. Nice bunch of tomatoes ready to go out. Keep them in the propagator a bit longer. I have to raise the level of the propagator just to get these in. Uh, I don't know. For a second week of May. Get them in the um, hydroponics. Well done, guys. Bye.